Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you protect a workbook, you prevent changes to the workbook's structure and its windows. You can prevent people from changing the size or shape of the workbook window, for example. With the structural protection, people will not be allowed to add, delete, hide, or move worksheets within the workbook. You can protect the windows and structure in a workbook. You can also provide an optional password that is required to be entered before the workbook can be unprotected. This option is also a bit risky because if you forget that password, you will not be able to remove the workbook protection. To apply workbook security, click the Protect Workbook button that appears in the Changes group on the Review tab in the ribbon. This will launch the Protect Workbook dialog box. Check the boxes for the objects that you want to protect and enter a password if desired. If you enter a password, you'll need to re-enter it into the confirmation dialog box that appears when you click the OK button. Notice at this point I can't delete, insert, or move or copy any of the sheets. So that's workbook protection. Now to remove workbook protection, simply click the Unprotect Workbook button that appears in the Changes group on the Review tab in the ribbon. Now if there's an associated password, it will prompt you to enter it into the Unprotect Workbook dialog box that appears before you click OK. And at this point, once again, I can insert, delete, rename, and remove or copy sheets as needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.